<laughs> Hi everyone, Joseph here. Um, so today I want to start with something a little different. So I've got my guitar here. I've got a song about the kidney that I've written for you. And so just listen along and enjoy the ride. I've got two kidneys and just really need to pee. Bend this in mind, I've got osmolarity. I'm joining up the tubules with a little anatomy. And it's not making sense to me. Your eater, throw you the rest, it's all the same. Go I don't like natural red peptide. No my low blood pressure or too much creatinine. But I just keep filtering endlessly. Aldosterone is through the roof now. High blood pressure. But it's through. It's you. And angiotensin too. Vasodilation with you. All this salty ion. Cool. So, anyways, as you would imagine, I've had quite a long day um, studying for the MCAT, but that is a okay because um, I just wanted to update you all on how I've been doing and talk about a couple of things that came into and popped up in my head um, yesterday that I was thinking about watching videos on Khan Academy about social inequality. Now, in the comments for the videos on social inequality, there were a lot of how would I say this? I guess comments to be desired. And essentially there was like a whole bunch of potentially future doctors talking about why do I need to know about social inequality. And I wanted to take this time just very briefly to address why the video on social inequality and why learning about social inequality as future physicians is important. So for the first most important thing, it is that future physicians are likely going to work with patients of lower socioeconomic status. And this isn't for any reason other than there's a lot of people out there and not everyone's going to be rich. Now, I know that physicians might cater to certain clientele where you can be looking towards working with a mid or middle and upper class, but essentially the people that are really truly probably going to be affected by your work are essentially those of probably the lower class, the lower middle class, upper middle class. I mean, there's there's literally billions of us, right? <laughs> so I just want to say that um, there shouldn't be any sense of entitlement that us future doctors or future physicians have when we watch these videos or try to understand the perspectives of someone else that doesn't share the same background, doesn't have the same blessings that um, we came in with. So essentially, um, I just thought like the videos on social reproduction and learning how um, very often social stratification occurs not only for a single generation but for multiple generations like passed down from like a mom and a dad to their children where they're if they didn't have a lot of money before it was very likely that their children would also not have a lot of money in the future um, which is very eye-opening because you know after hearing about the just world phenomenon and how people get what they deserve I realized that you know a lot of what I have as a background is really not out of my own merit because truly America is not a meritocracy. What I have is essentially just a lot of luck being born into the right situation and out of not much of my own ben uh, not out of much not out of much of my own um, work do I really deserve what I have here today. So I think that Social inequality as a topic to be addressed is absolutely wonderful. I wholeheartedly agree with the AMC when they decided that they should put them put on the exam. Even if even if I don't understand the topic so very well myself, I realize that this is actually really critical to like giving us a different perspective that you know we necessarily or we might not necessarily get um, just through our classes. Like I haven't had to take any classes on sociology here at Berkeley. Um, so I just wanted to say that I really do enjoy um, listening to like these different perspectives and learning about um, like absolute relative poverty. It's just really eye-opening and 
I think, critical to building a background as a physician. Um, I'm really looking forward to the QB3 boot camp that's coming up next week, and I'll let you all know how that goes. It's going to be a crazy week because I'm going to be starting to teach um, some undergrad students organic chemistry as well. So I'll be in the thick of things along with the MCAT, but you know, just keep your eye out for me. And if someone brings up this conversation with you about social inequality, make sure you tell them that it is a thing, that it is not a just world, and that these people that we're working are our clients, right? Our clients, our patients, you know, these are really truly people too, and they're probably working just as hard, you know, to achieve their life goals. So in no way should we demean them. I just really think that, you know, I'm just really glad that I have this opportunity to learn so much about um, just the way the world works. Because, you know, like, studying the body is great and all, but at the very visceral, basic level, what happens to us when a lot of us become primary physicians is that we're going to be working with people on a day-to-day basis. And having that sense of empathy, having that sense of, you know, being able to um, just talk to someone and just relate is going to be such a critical a critical thing to have as a physician. So anyways, I know I said critical like 20 times this video, but thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the song and I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.